Let's talk about ND filters. So on the DJI Mini 2, every time I fly, I use an ND filter. But let's just nip back home and I'm just gonna talk about the filters today. So the ones I'm gonna be talking about today are the Skyreet 6 pack. A lot of people have been asking me questions about this because it's a really good price point. Now you can use a DJI Mini 2 without any filters whatsoever and just keep it in auto, that's fine. But I'm gonna be talking today and showing you throughout the video the difference of what you can get when you use an ND filter. So in the pack of six, you get an ND filter all the way from ND8 up to 64. You get a UV filter, which you can keep on all the time to protect the lens. And then you also get a favorite of mine, the CPL filter. So you're gonna get everything you need to actually cover every different lighting condition. These are really small and compact. They weigh hardly anything whatsoever. So on the DJI Mini 2, you're not gonna be over the 250 gram mark. The CPL filter has an adjustable wheel, so you can turn it to adjust how strong you want the effect to be. So that is a really great filter that I use all the time. So they actually connect really easily as well. If you just look on the back of the filter, you'll see two little teeth. You just wanna push your gimbal down, slide them onto the grooves on the gimbal, and then just push the filter all the way down and it's nice and snug there. I've never had a filter come off. And then when you turn the drone on, you'll see now that you won't get any gimbal shake. If you do get any shaking or weird noises, the filter's not on properly, just reinstall it again, make sure it's nice and snug and pushed down. So now we've seen how to actually put the filter on and what we're talking about, let's get back to the beach. So I'm just gonna go through some of the filters now. Start with an ND8, it is bright today. So if you put an ND8 filter on on bright conditions, it's gonna to be too overly exposed. You want your shutter speed to be double your frame rate. So I want it to be one over 50th. As you can see, I've got to turn that shutter speed really high up. So ND8 is no good. So for a bright day, let's try an ND32. As you can see with this filter on now, my shutter speed is one over 50th, it's exactly where it should be to follow the 180 degree rule. So that's looking excellent. And the ND64 can be used on really bright and harsh lights. As you can see today, it's not bright enough, so it's quite underexposed that. It's a bit too dark for me. So I'm gonna stick back onto the ND32. And this will be perfect for us for this video. And this is why I use ND filters every day. It's not over-processed. The levels are spot on, which I want it to be. Everything looks natural and it doesn't look choppy like it would be in auto with a high shutter speed. It looks natural. By putting a letterbox on there, it looks even better. This is not color graded at all. This is straight out of the DJI Mini 2. 4K 25, my shutter speed is bang on 1 over 50th. ISO 100, it's perfect levels. You won't be able to achieve this without an ND filter on. This shot now is actually pointing direct into the sun with all the glare and the footage still looks phenomenal. It's incredible and such an advantage using an ND filter. So if you want natural looking video for your DJI Mini 2, ND filters are your number one accessory you need to be picking up. I would just get an extra battery or if you've already got the fly more combo you don't need that and then just get a set of ND filters if you get some from an ND8 up to a 64 you covered then for a variety of different lighting scenarios so in this shot here I'm actually just going to be circling around these three people moving this is all done manually what I'm trying to focus on here is that if you can see this is all set on the same manual settings I'm not changing anything and then regardless whether the drone is actually into the sun or away from the sun, the whole image just looks spectacular and natural. There's no overexposed areas. It's just the perfect image. It looks so natural. Just like if I was flying around that, that seagull there, this is what it would look like. A nice, non-overly processed image. And then if I want to edit it afterwards, I can put a color grade on but it gives me the options to do more with it. The ND filters are essential. ND32 for this lighting conditions today is perfect. If it wasn't as bright today, an ND16 would have done. But what about I show you now my second favorite filter, which is used a lot, the CPL filter. This just makes everything pop, nice and vibrant and saturated. And I'm just gonna play this now and let it speak for itself.
you would be forgiven to think that this was England, the place where the beaches don't normally look like this, but the CPL filter can give you that paradise look. I just love the way it just makes all them blues pop and the greens. The CPL filter is just phenomenal. Sometimes you've just got to see it to justify the words better than I can. Wow, the CPL filter. Let's just get it back to me. This is what it looks like now without a filter on. So look how overly exposed that is in the bright conditions like this. So if you don't use an ND filter, you can put it in auto, but everything is over processed because that shutter speed is going to have to be for in auto. That's one over 500. So this is what it should be at one over 50th. That is so white. So look how white that is. So that's going to have to be bumped up all the way to around about 1 over 1600. So that means in auto, your shutter speed is 1 over 1600. So that's why it's going to be really over processed. ND filters, number one choice, guys. Go and get some ND filters for your drone. You will not regret it. All the music I used today and the sound effects are linked below. Music is key. I'm going to be talking about this more coming up but by using different sound effects and the right music choice can make your video look even better, especially with the critique and review videos I'm doing. I'm gonna be focusing on the music and your choice of music a lot. So music is key, it's one of the most important factors and this is a picture I put on the community page asking for guesses what filter I used and some fantastic guesses. And a lot of you guys absolutely smashed it getting the right answer. So I'm really impressed. So Anthony Awesome, Jara Drones, Airless Mean, Peter DJI Fly Guy, Armando Pace, Drone Ready, Lutovic, Matt Robbins, David Lee, Tommy B and Eddie Drones. Well done, you all got it right. So brilliant. And well done to everyone else who guessed as well. Some really good guesses, I liked that. None of these footage are edited at all. So go and check some filters out. Hope you enjoyed that guys. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care, have a great day. Bye bye.